Well, you probably figured from the thumbnail, I'm in four different states. I'm going to check out the entire Mississippi Valley here in the upper Midwest, and I'll show you one of the hardest working rivers here in the country. This town is East Dubuque. It's at the uh, edge of Illinois. This town actually sits right on the uh, tri-state area of uh, Northwest Illinois, East Iowa, and Southwest Wisconsin. This must be the downtown part of East Dubuque. It looks like uh, gaming and liquor are the uh, two main businesses here. And then of course there's Happy Joe's. How can you not be happy when there's gaming and liquor though, right? I am going to be in Illinois very little for this video. And uh, I'll spend a little time in Iowa, and the road that I'm going to travel, there's actually two roads. One is in Wisconsin, and that will take us straight north, but we're going to spend a little time on the west side of the Mississippi, which puts us in Iowa, and then we're going to drive that all the way north up into Minnesota. And I want to check out some of the uh, small towns along the Mississippi Valley, and we'll see some of the unique things as well. There are going to be some, let's call them oddities, some things you just don't see every day on this little trip here along the uh, Mississippi Valley and I think I found my first one right now. This is a auto repair business. There's a car buried into the hill at this auto repair business in East Dubuque, Illinois. Is it me or is there like a prop on the inside? It's like the hand of a prop just kind of waving right now. A lot of older vehicles here too at this uh, auto repair business. I'm not sure if this is where these cars are coming to die. I'm assuming the one up in the hill is, uh, that's pretty much done. This one over here with the little TLC, it might have some more life left into it. This restaurant has a great view of the Mississippi River. It's just looking out over it. It doesn't look like there's a whole heck of a lot going on here in East Dubuque. But uh, there's a lot of uh, slots out here. Apparently that's how they pass their time for entertainment. I just saw this as I was walking by. Look at this sticker on this car. Doing a U-turn here. And somebody has their own lighthouse along the uh, side of the Mississippi. They've also got their, uh, it looks like golf cart on the roof of their house. It's a good spot to put it. You'll never lose it, I guess. There's really not a whole heck of a lot more in uh, East Dubuque, Illinois. Now, as you know, the Mississippi River runs the entire western part of Illinois, but I'm going to stay here in the very, very far corner, of, I guess northwest corner of Illinois. So we could do four states and one river in 24 hours. And speaking of the river, we're getting ready to cross over into Iowa. It's the Lady Miss. Just over the uh, river here is uh, Dubuque. And I just happen to have a video on the channel with Dubuque, Iowa. And if you thought there's absolutely nothing in Dubuque, you might be surprised. Check out that video. And just like that, we're in Iowa. As I continue my uh, tour along the Mississippi Valley here and check out some of the towns that board it and some of the unique things, one of the things that I do remember about Dubuque in my last visit is this town has murals all over it and they're really pretty neat looking. Pardon the uh, sound difference here. I switched microphones, went with the uh, wireless. I kept having to flip the other one around so you can hear me pretty well. Here's another building with a mural all over it. There's no doubt this is an old town. In case you didn't know, it is the oldest town in the state of Iowa. and a little bit of a uh, bird's eye view of Dubuque. There is a, um, a tramway or like a elevator cog that I did in my uh, video when I came to Dubuque. You wanna check that out because it brought me on top of one of the uh, bigger hills out here and just got a, uh, a great view of the downtown area of Dubuque. That's Dubuque down there behind me. And like I said, again, there's another video on the channel of that, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time out here. I want to uh, check out some of the other towns along the Mississippi Valley because like I said, I understand there are some weird, unique things going up and down the area. So we'll uh, spend a little time here in Iowa driving up a side road that will run parallel with the river 
and then we'll cross over into Wisconsin and continue the journey up north towards Minnesota. So I took a collection of road signs and put them all together here. I'm a little bit north of Dubuque right now, heading north on a road that's running parallel with the Mississippi River in a town called Durango. Not much in the town, but I did see this traveling through the Durango Police Department. Look at this, to give you an idea of how small this town is, this is the main road that goes into it. That's basically the town right there. I'm standing in the middle of the highway. There is nobody, every now and then you'll see a car come by, but there's nobody around. And if you're wondering exactly where I'm at, how far the things, here you go, right here. All right, let's keep it moving north. Along the Mississippi, as we do four different states, 24 hours, one river, and a few miles on the car. Now there's a sign here that I just passed. You might have saw it a second ago. It said road is closed. I was easily able to get around it, so I'm assuming it's not fully closed. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll see if that little, uh, that little cop car we just looked at will be on my tail shortly. Well, I did it. I mean, if it's closed, it was smooth sailing. No problems at all. I mean, there was no stripes on the road, but I had no problems. So if you just happen to be north of Durango, Iowa, and you need to use a couple miles of this road here, go for it. Here is a nice shot of the Mississippi River. Like I said, I'm hugging towns right now that follow along the Mississippi River. And there she is. That's part of the Mississippi down there. All right, time to get back into the car and let's uh, continue this journey and head towards Wisconsin and then Minnesota. I am running out of daylight. It's pretty much gone. Got a little bit of a uh, late start earlier today. Getting ready to cross the Mississippi though, again, and go from Iowa into Wisconsin. So far we've got three states on this video and uh, heading to number four as we hug the Mississippi Valley here and the Mississippi River. This would have been a fun store to stop at. I wish I was here earlier before they closed for the day. Check this out though. They are definitely ready for Christmas here. It is a gift store with unusual gifts, unique gifts, ice cream, antiques. Well, I have completely run out of daylight. So I am headed towards La Crosse and then I will scoot north of La Crosse up into Winona, Minnesota. This is downtown La Crosse. There's a, uh, pizza restaurant that ranked very good. So I wanna check it out. All right, so a little FYI about La Crosse, Wisconsin. There's no parking downtown. I drove around and there's so many one-way streets. I kept driving around and around and around. This uh, pizza place, it's unique. 
which is perfect for this little road trip. And it's supposed to be excellent, so I really want to try it out. It is called Big L's. I'll put the uh, link in the description below. Check it out, it's a car right when you walk in. Finding half cars everywhere. This is a uh, pretty neat looking place here. Oh, over here above my head, it's an airplane. doesn't work with the camera so you have to trust me they got food and prices on the menu this is the uh, hand toss they have the uh, thin crust the hand toss which is this one and then they've got the uh, thick crust with the cheese baked in a Chicago style I would definitely recommend this place again I'll put their link in the uh, description below if you should ever find yourself in the uh, La Crosse Wisconsin area and you want a really good pizza with a uh, fun atmosphere. I would definitely recommend Big L. I thought it was excellent pizza. Service is pretty good. It was really clean in there. And for a busy night, they were relatively quick. It wasn't uh, horrible. I'm sure it's a small kitchen in the back. So really no complaints. I would definitely go back. From Wisconsin to Minnesota. Couldn't really show you crossing the river again into uh, Minnesota. It was just too dark, but I will definitely show you tomorrow as we go up and down the uh, Mississippi River area. I'm in Winona, Minnesota right now, and this is home for the night. Well, we got a great view of uh, Target over here, so if you uh, need anything, just uh, put a comment below and I'll run over there and get it for you. Uh, room looks pretty good. It's uh, pretty basic, but it looks clean. The uh, pizza I had, I just put there, decent sized TV. Uh, beds look uh, nice and comfortable and nice and clean. Well, pretty typical. There's a, a little fridge down here. Open up the little microwave area. It comes with a uh, iron, ironing board. Pretty standard is what you would expect. And uh, the restroom. Okay, checking out the uh, rest of this hotel since it is a no brand. Packers jacket in Vikings country. Hopefully nobody throws anything at me. Here's the uh, pool area, looking really nice in here. We even got some uh, poolside rooms for the indoor pool. Hot tub over there. Yeah, it's very clean and comfortable in here. This is really a nice place. Well, next time I'll bring my trunks if I'm ever in this neck of the woods again. I am checking out of the Express Suites. Well, I always call it the Express Suites. It's the Riverport Inn Express Suites. Suites. See? Express Suites, Riverport Inn Suites. They like the name Suites. And funny thing is, my room was a regular room. I had the nine suite version. It was a very nice room. Like I said, it was very clean. I would definitely stay here again. Very friendly staff. On the road, let's go check out the Mississippi Valley here in the daylight where we could see it better. When I was coming into town last night, I noticed this rock was lit up, the, the top part, not the hill under it. And I couldn't figure out what it was from a distance. So I looked it up and it is called Sugarloaf Bluff. And that rock itself above the hill there stands 85 feet tall. Uh, right here in Winona, and I guess it's the result of quarrying in the late 1800s. So that's the landmark here in Winona. <laughs> it's actually a pretty neat looking rock. I'm not sure if you can get up there or not, though, but uh, it was lit up last night, and this morning just kind of stands proud and tall.
look at this beautiful church. This place is huge here in Winona. This is, um, <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be a fun one for me to pronounce here. Uh, welcome to St. Stainless Costa Parish Center. I think I got the Parish Center correct. You figure out the rest. This is what it looks like though, it's beautiful. like I found the dorms and part of the uh, campus for Winona State University here. Again, I'm in southeast Minnesota, right along the Mississippi River. It's a neat little town to come to. I suppose if I was going back to college and majoring in something that uh, was offered here, I would definitely come here. Quick little surprise on my way out of Winona, Minnesota. I did find a road that will take us up towards the top of the bluffs here, give us a nice little lookout. I will get a better view in a moment from a different spot. This body of water right over here, I'm guessing that's just a little branch of the Mississippi River. The actual river is uh, way out there yet. And then on the other side, those bluffs, those, uh, that tree line out there, that would be Wisconsin. We are looking down on the town of Winona along the Mississippi River and the uh, campus for Winona State University would be right over there. And that big beautiful church we saw not too long ago is right over there. Now according to this little map here it says on a clear day you can see two tall smokestacks on the Alma Power Plant, which is 20 miles upriver. It also says on clear days, you can see more than 30 miles of the Mississippi River Valley. This is just incredible up here. Uh, just overlooking the Mississippi River, one of the hardest working rivers in the country, going from the Twin Cities, which is north of here, uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, going all the way down to the uh, Gulf of uh, Mexico. And you might have been hearing some uh, news of the Mississippi River lately how there's a drought uh, going on in the southern states along uh, southern Illinois, even Arkansas, and uh, Louisiana and so forth. And the river is just so low, you can almost walk apart or walk across a part of it. And they can't sail or move the barges around. It's really a shame what's going on. So hopefully we'll get a uh, decent winter or a lot of precipitation that will kind of fill up the Mississippi and allow the water to uh, fill up down there. But up here, it's beautiful. I'm going to be driving out of the Winona area and uh, we'll start heading towards La Crosse where I had the uh, pizza earlier in the video and uh, check out that area and uh, then we'll also continue down the Mississippi Valley a little bit and just wrap it up in Wisconsin. Well, a part of this trip is just some of the uh, strange things you don't see every day, as I like to call them the oddities along the Mississippi Valley. Yeah, if you want a bobcat, this is the place to get one apparently. Hi there. Well, I've always wanted to get in one of these things. There's no keys or anything and can't make the horn go. So what the heck? Pretty neat. Um, but I see there's a camera over here 
and this place is closed so I don't need the uh, police to come over and give me a uh, ticket to never come back to Minnesota. Time to go to Wisconsin. That's the interstate over there. And uh, the one thing I will say about Wisconsin though, that I prefer over Minnesota is when you want to get the sign that welcomes you into the state, they make theirs a little safer. I'm at a uh, rest area. I'm safe, I won't get hit by any trucks or cars over here, so. Welcome to Wisconsin. So let's go check out a little bit of the uh, La Crosse area. I'm not really going to spend a lot of time there because I do have some previous videos of when I was in La Crosse, but I want to get a little bit more of the Mississippi Valley that goes between Minnesota and Wisconsin. Just over all the uh, businesses and houses and trees and stuff, there are some more bluffs out there. And towards the top, which is really hard to see, there's a flagpole up there on the uh, bluff, and that is called Granddad's Bluff. And you'll see that in a previous video. I'm not gonna go up that now, uh, as though I just did a aerial view of the Mississippi from Winona. It's basically going to be the same thing, just a uh, looking at a different direction. But you can find that video and more about La Crosse and Granddad's Bluff in the video that looks like this. You'll see this thumbnail on the screen. Just find that in the channel. Already saw this earlier in the video, but it was nighttime, so here we are in downtown La Crosse again. As I was driving down and we saw that king over there and the uh, breweries here in La Crosse, this caught my attention right here. And at first, well, I can't tell what they are, can you? I would drive right past it, not think anything of it. Check this out. There's enough beer in there to fill 7,340,796 cans. Place end to end. The cans would run 565 miles. It's the world's largest six pack right here in La Crosse, Wisconsin. You kind of see the uh, old style logo back there. Well, if you're thirsty, this is definitely where you want to be. And you want to know the interesting thing? I can really smell the hops right now. I am getting drunk just vlogging right now on old style of all things. Let's get back in the car and continue down the Mississippi River. This is interesting. So the Mississippi River, it's just one of the narrow spots right over here. And the interesting thing is right over here and where I'm at, this is Wisconsin over here. Right over there is Minnesota. Right over there, that's Iowa. This is what they call three states corners. And the funny thing is there's nothing here, not a small town, nothing. <laughs> you just gotta find it on a uh, Google map and uh, GPS your way here. The only thing here on Three States Corners are uh, these people right here in this house. And they're definitely in Wisconsin, but they sit on the tri-state region, so. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the uh, Mississippi Valley as I did one river, four states in 24 hours, starting off in Illinois, going through Iowa, dipping into Wisconsin, into Minnesota, and back here in Wisconsin along the mighty Mississippi. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And if you enjoy doing travel and attractions and checking out some interesting things, consider subscribing to the channel. As you know, it's absolutely free and I do all kinds of fun things from unique visits and tours like this to attractions like at amusement parks and zip lining. I do it all on this channel, so you'll definitely want to check that out. Of course, I'm also on social media. You can always comment and follow me on Facebook, and I'm also on Instagram and TikTok. You'll find some behind the scenes that I don't do on YouTube as well. As we enter the holiday season, I've got a lot of holiday stuff and unique things coming up on the channel. So again, you'll want to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Thank you for coming along on this ride for four states along one river, 
You'll see me on the next one. Subscribe now.